Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Roadblock and we are on the free to play challenge account. Uh, this video might be a little bit on the shorter side. Uh, basically, I took last night off for the most part. I did get my dailies done on all three of my accounts. Just wanted to make sure I got that part of it done. But I have a lot of grinding left to do on the main account for White Queen. That would be my main uh, like non-free-to-play account that... that is where I have the most progression in, in raid. Um, I need to get the champion training done, and I have to get it done tonight. And so I'll probably be doing that for the remainder of the night. That's one of the reasons why this video is going to be short. The other reason, too, is that tomorrow is Clan v Clan, and I have Wednesday off. So um, <clears throat> tomorrow I I work early, I could, therefore I come home early. I will be playing the game all evening, right up until 7 o'clock. And then uh, I'm also going to wake up extra early tomorrow to try and get game time in so I can wait and do some of my stuff, like do my tag team arenas and things like that uh, and, and, and knock that knock that out. So uh, for, for the purposes of Clan v Clan, I'll be grinding my champions up all day, just, just leveling food, uh, using all, all the energy that I can. That'll be, that'll be tomorrow evening and... Wednesday all day long um, I'll be every time I have enough energy I'll pop it do a run and just grind through my uh, food and try and get closer to, to leveling up our next six star so still a little undecided on who it's going to be but what we're about to do will play a role in that of course so I'm going to pull some shards uh, as many of you may have already seen we did get one uh summon pool's worth we got a free gift to be able to do a summon pool here uh champions that i would absolutely love ursula is up there warcaster um stag knight's probably at the top of my list we don't have an aoe decreased defense champion uh stag knight would immediately get put up into that role i don't know where that would fit into my current comp to be honest but Probably would have to take a Hotatsu's place, which is kind of sucks because we'd lose the decreased defense, but we would gain a decreased attack and decreased defense, thus doing more damage. Also, we got our first bless, or well, our second blessing on the account, but the first one of importance. Our miscreated monster here. I went with cruelty. I know blessings have changed quite a bit, and he does bring shielding, and I I, I did give give some consideration to emergency heal, but. What I realized is that the shield isn't up that much long enough. Like, it, it comes off pretty much the turn that he puts it on, right? So, he would get a small heal there. But I would like him to get a heal every single turn, basically, right? So, um, it's really good if compared with, like, Blood Shield Ring. Which, we have Blood Shield Rings, just not on this particular champion. So, um... that's so i went with with cruelty just to reduce that defense a little bit more give ourselves a little bit more damage it's only five percent at this stage right um so you know it, it could be better but we do also get 4500 extra hp which is great for an hp based champion it's going to up his damage and up his survivability of course so we would get that regardless of what blessing we took but i'm just saying that it's nice to have a blessing even just for the stats at at minimum. So uh, that's the one that I'm going with for now. I may change it down the line, but I, I, I do like having that, since it's the only blessing, I, I like having that def, uh, defense reduction. I Man, I just realized I forgot again, I don't think I have any keys, to change my lead out on my clan boss. So let me do that. Let me do that. Or did I did I remember? I may have remembered. Uh, I just did hard. No, I didn't. So, yeah, I can't get in there until okay. I have to save the gems. And problem is, is that I sleep and then I wake up and I'm like, run these battles and then I don't I don't think about it. So, but the one other thing I wanted to do on on here, well, I did have a question for you guys. So admittedly i haven't been picking up probably as many 
clan quests as I should. There was a limit that was posted for from from Hell Hades about like making sure you're only picking up one from each difficulty, um, which I understand. And but I, I haven't really been doing a lot of the the clan quests, but I did have a question about like what would you spend clan gold on if you were in my shoes now normally the answer is yannica can't get yannica fast enough so don't matter right um i don't think silver is as worth it probably not even the chickens to be honest i was thinking about the accessories here uh they are you get you get chance for counterattack accessories but but also they're they're guaranteed to be five or six stars right which I don't have any five or six star accessories, so that would be a big boost to my account. And tomorrow, being Clan v. Clan, I'm going to be getting some uh, Clan gold. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get some Clan gold. <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking that uh, that could be good for the account to use some of that Clan gold and get... Uh, some accessories but i wanted to know what your thoughts would be now i will say this because many of you are probably like no 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 it needs to be energy if energy populates in here it re re refreshes in seven hours i would go energy right because energy is the the what we need more than anything else so i would spend my clan gold on energy hands down if energy is not available i may do accessories but also let me know if you think i should just save that clan gold and then use it for energy whenever it does populate down the line and just keep that saved up. I don't know. I don't know what the the. I have never really thought about it. I haven't paid any attention to to the clan gold system, um, or the clan shop system, however you want to word it. This entire campaign, and that that's partly an oversight, but also I didn't feel like when I the first time that we were able to do clan quests, I looked and I was like, oh, I can't do any of these that were available to me. So. Um, so I didn't. <laughs> and now I'm getting a little bit stronger. I might be able to do some of them. So uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on, on that. But we're going to finish the video by pulling uh, these two ancients. And then we're going to start. Let's pull the two ancients first. We'll just pull two ancients real quick. There we go. I didn't have audio. You guys heard it, but I didn't. Man, I always get so excited when I see that, and then I remember I'm pulling Ancients and not Voids. So, that is not Cold Heart. Okay. I'm gonna pull this here. I'm actually not looking for a Legendary, of course. But, let's go ahead. Uh, we're guaranteed an Epic, so hopefully we get one that i could use preferably not lordly legionary and now that i said that that's who it's gonna be or if, if i get this guy you for you don't know this guy he's my like if you watch ash's content that's my harrier fearmonger gets pulled all the time on my all of my accounts and I hate it every time I pull him. Every time I get so upset. We would really like to see Stagnite. Uh, or Ursula on my free-to-play is so clutch. And would absolutely change this account if I could pull her. So, um, because we would get the decrease attack, but also the increase attack. Which is one of the things that we are definitely lacking on the account so let's get this pull in and then we'll call this a video here we go okay i don't i don't i'm not, i'm yeah i'm not not too thrilled here so 50 60 75 percent chance of a decrease attack um provoke self shield hi sweetie hi. give me one second I'm almost done okay just one second 
Okay, you can watch. Okay. I do like this, however, on a three-turn cooldown. Increase defense and increase attack on all allies for two turns. And a little bit of turn meter. I, I don't know if this is better... I do like the leech too. So we get everything except for the increase attack, and we do get a potential. We we could remove the stun if he's the stun target. Um, I think Hotatsu's better. I am intrigued by having both increased defense and increased attack since. A lot of my damage is straightforward hits. Definitely, I, I do think this champion gets kept no matter what. At the very least, just as an increase attack champion. And, I mean, and a chance at a provoke on the enemy team as well. So... I'll think on it, but I do... I'm definitely leaning towards Hotatsu here. But interesting, interesting pull nonetheless. Um, I haven't looked at... I'm guessing... I think it's a tournament right now. I think it's a Sand Devil tournament. I don't even know if I can... Yeah, so there's the... Uh, so you get 40. Okay. I don't think I'm in a position to do Sand Devil, but still, 40 is not, not bad. Is it the Artifact Enhancement that has the other amount? No. So is it the Dungeon Divers? The second Dungeon Divers? Yes. Okay. Alright. And that's only 20, right? So it's 40 and 20. If you do both, you do get two more pulls at it, which I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing, obviously, on my main account. Maybe on my free-to-play? Uh, that might be worth doing on my free-to-play, actually. It's definitely worth doing on the main account, too. I don't know that I can do Sand Devil on this account. Um, not with the champions that I have, at least not at a reasonable rate that wouldn't be... A ridiculous waste of energy which currently i need to save more of so all right um doo -doo 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 -doo. also before anybody says it because i know i was like oh i don't have a, de a aoe decreased defense i know that i could get a war maiden i'm just uh not interested in in in, in, in a war maiden um not that she's bad she's great war maiden's awesome just uh i don't think that uh I need War Maiden. I'd want something that brings a little bit more to the table. So, uh, all right. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support. As always, I might be streaming on Tuesday night. Uh, I will keep you guys posted about that. If I'm going to stream Tuesday night, I'll probably record my videos earlier Tuesday evening and get those uploaded so that uh you you guys will know if i'll be streaming also keep an eye on my socials i'll put it out on on twitter and on my discord to let you guys know and then we'll probably be doing clan v clan across all three accounts and just the grind and just hanging out and having fun so um that is pretty much everything i will see you guys in the next video